heck is 311? I keep hearing all this buzz, but what is it? Memories Forever Travel is here to explain it all. Jeannie Michaels here from Memories Forever Travel. Today I want to fill you in on these TSA rules of the 311. Let's go. Okay, so the 311 rule can be a little confusing. This is part of TSA security at the airports. What that is, is the three means all little bottles that you plan on bringing with you um, in your carry-on bag through security at the airport after you've checked in, they have to be under 3.4 ounces. All those little bottles that are under the 3.4 ounces, they all have to fit into one quart-sized bag. So all the liquids that you have need to be in a one bag in little bottles. Make sure it's good and zipped because we don't want any spills. Not good. And lastly, every person is allowed one baggie in their carry-on. Be sure once you have it all packed, everything's in your little bottles and it's zipped tight, that you keep that little baggie on the very top of your carry-on because when you get over to security, you're gonna have to pull that out so that it can go through the security screening. If they see liquids moving around in your bag and it's not pulled out, you're, they're gonna search your bags. Be sure to keep it on top. One more tip for you guys that I do in my carry-on bag as well as my checked bag because I have learned the hard way, folks. Take a piece of saran wrap, just a little tiny little piece like this, and I kind of fold it up here. And then take your bottle, unscrew them, and put a piece of saran wrap on the top. This will allow no leaks, accidental leaks. I um, do this a lot and ever since starting, I've had no issues. It's so nice, you just screw the cap back on and you're good to go. Nothing's coming out of here. One more tip for you is if you are like me, I always have to have water with me. I drink water all day long, so especially when I am flying, I have water with me. If you do not want to go buy a 4 or $5 water inside the airport once you get through security because you can't bring bottles of water through, they have to be in 3.4 ounce bottles, so a big bottle of water is not going to work. If you want to bring water with, bring a good quality um, water bottle with you. And then once you get through security, you can go to the drinking fountain and fill this up. Then you don't have to waste any money on extra bottles of water. I purchased this bottle and I actually really, really love it. I actually hook it on to my husband's backpack when we're traveling. It also has a lock on it for the drinking area. So when you click it open, um, like you could accidentally hit this button, but with the lock, you just lock it and we know it won't, nothing will happen. But I learned something the hard way. I was on my way to Barcelona, Spain, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get some water. I went to go open this, I clicked my little button, all of a sudden water started spewing out. What happens when you're up in the sky is compression, folks. Water was compressed and it started spewing out. Thankfully, it wasn't very much, but it was enough to just kind of get me wet. So be careful if you open that or you can open it this way to let that compression out so you don't have that accident like I did. There you have it, 311 and a few other little extra trips from your travel agent. If you have any questions about any of this, feel free to ask me in the comments below and I will get back to you. If you have any other ideas or topics that you would like me to chat about, um, please comment below because I wanna hear them. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more future videos. Have a good day, guys. Until next time, bye, guys.